everyone. So we're here today with an update on our uh, woolly milkweed research that we started this spring. And we have here the seeds that we got from a plant out in south central Nebraska that we were able to get to germinate in um, tissue culture in this little sterile environment here. And what we're doing today is we are taking the seeds that have germinated. Some of them have started to grow little shoots and roots and they look like plants. And some of them are kind of staying in this immature form where it's just a basically a cluster of plant cells. We're going to take these clusters of plant cells, which are called callus, and we are going to put them onto a new growing medium to try to basically give them what they need to grow roots and grow shoots. Because once they have both of those things, then they can be transferred out into the real world. They can come out of sterile tissue culture and be planted in some kind of growing medium. The base of this medium is regular MS, um, which is a pretty standard, it's like the standard uh, media. We have uh, some sugar that the plants need since they're not able to photosynthesize and make their own food yet, we feed them. And then I also included two different plant growth regulators. So we have NAA, it's naphthalene, acetic acid, and BA. Uh, so that is an auxin and a cytokinin. So the auxin is to help promote shoot growth, and the cytokinin is to help promote root growth. This is what some of the other baby uh, woolly milkweed look like now. And if you look, you can kind of very gently see that they're starting to put out roots. So that's kind of our sign that they are ready to come out and live in the real world. So we will be taking these ones and we will be cleaning off all the medium and then we'll be putting them in uh, pots so they can continue growing in the greenhouse. Since it's getting late in the season, we had talked about if we wanted to try and replant them, do reintroductions this fall yet, but since they're still so young and tender, uh, I think we're gonna try and overwinter them in the greenhouse and then um, plant them out in the spring. We're kind of trying this for the first time. Nobody that we know of has done this with this species before, so uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 